Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 Stop Motion Speed Build. This is Megan aka Simply Simmer and today's episode is inspired by the Big Bang Theory. My husband really wanted me to put this together and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Typically when I'm putting these builds together, I pull the show up on Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus and I click through specific scenes until I can find a good shot of whatever wall or corner I'm working on. Unfortunately, The Big Bang Theory wasn't on any of the streaming services that I currently have, so I had to do some digging and created this using only my memory and pictures I found on the internet. So there may be some parts of this build that aren't completely accurate, but I still think it turned out pretty close. I did post a little teaser of Penny's apartment on my Facebook page earlier this week, and I was so happy to see how many people were excited to see this video come out. I know the Big Bang Theory has a really big fandom, so hopefully this came together well enough to keep those fans happy. Speaking of my Facebook page, I've started to be a lot more active there and I've been sharing teasers, memes, and giveaways. So if you haven't started following me there yet, make sure to look up Simply Simmer on Facebook and follow me to join in on the fun. And don't forget about subscribing to me on YouTube as well since I always post the full length version of my builds here. But anyway, I'm sure everyone is wondering why on earth there would be a completely see-through glass door in the bathroom. Their apartment does have a glass bathroom door, but it's frosted over so you can't see through it. The only frosted glass doors I could find in-game were still pretty see-through and the shape wasn't exactly accurate. So I went ahead and stuck with this one. One of the biggest struggles I had with this build was working with the split level in Sheldon and Leonard's living room. I went back and forth on whether I would actually include that little step, but I'm really glad that I did because it adds so much more to the living room and makes it really feel true to the show. Split levels aren't really the easiest things to work with in the game because the game doesn't recognize the room as a room anymore, so you have to be careful about how you lay down the flooring and paint the walls. Another thing I had to get creative with on this one is the windows. I thought about putting this lot in one of the apartment buildings in San Myshuno, but since you can't really adjust the walls and windows on those buildings, I placed it on one of the lots in Newcrest and used the city sets from the Get Famous expansion pack to put outside of the windows to give it a city feel. I think there may be one or two windows in this build that I missed those on, but for the most part, they're covered up with curtains anyway. There are a few walls on this build that I had to use my own imagination on because they're actually the fourth wall that doesn't really exist on this set. I was able to find a couple of shots where they gave a little peek at those fourth walls on some episodes, but for the most part I had to get creative. The guy's living room took me a while to clutter up. There's only so many books in the game and they have so many books in their apartment. So I used a bunch of different things like books, a globe, and some science projects and model rockets. It also took me a really long time to decide on a couch because their couch is really fluffy, but I couldn't find one that was perfect. This was as close as I could get to their big brown couch. This back wall is another fourth wall that I got creative on. I also use this as an entrance for your sims to enter if you want to download this lot. The game doesn't have caution tape in an X form like they have on the show, so I placed a caution sign and a cone in front of the elevator to create the idea that this elevator is broken. We're moving into Penny's apartment now, and I must say I loved putting her apartment together. I usually stick to more natural and neutral colors when I do my own builds, but her apartment is so bright and girly and still looks super cute. If there was one thing I could suggest for The Sims developers to add into the game would be adding throw pillows and blankets for the couches and chairs. I'm always using the small stack of pillows on the couches to make them feel more lived in, but I think it makes the couch unusable, so it's not really the greatest thing. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial soon on some of my cluttering techniques like the pillows on the couches, putting things in the refrigerator, and stacking things. If that's something you all would be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below. Or if you ever have any questions on how I did something, you can either leave a comment or send me a message on Facebook and I'll try to get back as fast as I can. I really love the little table area that she has by her window. I used the purple chairs from Tiny Living and the clutter and the orange lamp really adds so much fun and brightness into this apartment. I'm not super big into bright and girly decor, but I could definitely be happy with a living room and kitchen like this one. 
I can do a full tutorial on how I edit these videos together, but long story short, I build the entire lot first, and then I delete everything in a very specific order, then use the undo button and add items back in one at a time. For some reason on this build, some of the items didn't come back when I used the undo button. I had a bookshelf by Penny's table, and in the guy's apartment, the microwave just disappeared. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but it would have taken me about an hour to go back and fix it, so I figured I'd just mention it in my video instead. These videos are very tedious to put together, but it's kind of satisfying to put together, and the end result always looks amazing. I just think it looks so much different than the usual speed builds that you see, and it's also easier to sit and watch, for me at least. But anyway, we're coming up on the end of the build portion, so if you've made it this far, comment your favorite quote from The Big Bang Theory. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and stick around for the final walkthrough. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next build. Bye!